Okay, what you're looking at is the Texas City uh, boat ramp. Uh, reason we're doing this video, look at the third uh, piling from left to right. You can see the oyster bed and shortly all of that going to be underwater. The pier going to be touching the water, the bottom of it, because two feet of water uh, will come in in a few seconds. This, the cause of it is the ship wakes because we're near the area where the cargo ships go by and create a massive depth change. This depth change has increased because they, if you look in the background, those sand and dirt in the back, I believe it was pulled out of the area so they made it better, but also the depth change uh, got more severe. Uh, this can pose a problem because your boat can go underneath the pier, especially the nose or the back end of it and when the water rises it will be jammed between the water and the uh, pier. This has happened to me. Uh, also uh, if you've got the uh, boat on a ram on a trailer and you're almost done and half the boat is hanging and the water underneath it disappears, the boat will drop. This has happened to me as well. Uh, there was 12 years apart. They didn't happen back to back, but first incident was 12 years ago and then again. So look out for the ships uh, and look out for the severe depth change. So you haven't been to Texas City boat ramp for a while, past six months. Uh, the depth change is very severe at this moment because they cleaned out uh, and made the uh, pathway area deeper. And as a result, the depth change uh, got worse. Uh, so in the video, you will see the third piling being fully, the third pole, I mean, being completely dry. You can see the oyster bed then about a minute later uh, the water is touching the pier, which is severe change, really. As always, go boating, go fishing, be safe, and enjoy your day.